1848, King Kamehameha makes a procl proclamation that if Hawaiians are dead or off the land for 20 years, the land is free for settlement. And being Hawaii is the center of the, of the Pacific, it's very important. In 1800, <clears throat> the population of Hawaii was 2 million Hawaiians. In 1829, there was 34,000 34, Hawaiians left alive. In 34 years, they all died from whooping cough, tuberculosis, typhoid, smallpox, measles, mumps, chickenpox, all of our childhood diseases. As the Hawaiian Islands were isolated, Cook shows up in, in 1789, comes back in 1800 with Bishop. And in, because the world knows that Hawaii exists and they start sailing there, they bring all the diseases of Europe and the United States. And in 34 years, 99% of all Hawaiians are dead from genocide by germ warfare. And so the Hawaiian population is so small based on its size that there's King Kamehameha in 1848 nationalizes the entire island under the bishop's trust putting all the remaining choice lands into the Hawaiian kingdom. Now, one-third of the Hawaiian islands was given to the Philippines, one-third to China, one-third to Japan, because they were the dominant population at the time in the Hawaiian islands. And in the Hawaiian islands themselves, the Hawaiians kept all the choice farmlands. With that said, China declares Hawaii to be part of their country. Japan declares Hawaii to be part of theirs, and so do the Philippines. The United States took over in 18, uh, well, I'll get to that in a few minutes. The United States Postal Service shows a, a, the Universal Postal Union, better known as the UPU. If you want to go and study this, upu.com is what you type in your computer, Universal Postal Union, and you can get a history lesson off of Wikipedia, which will show you what's going on. Some of this stuff was never made public. I uncovered it and uh, by, quite by accident on the 6th of January and was able to certify how World War II was conducted. In uh, 22nd of October, 1871, the uh, Hawaii files bankruptcy. Now, under the words of damage, no damage becomes legal, and under maritime law of commerce, which falls into the uh, maritime salvage claim, Title 46, Chapter 16, Section 781, that's your salvage. That's maritime salvage. All right, the Bern, Switzerland shows up in Hawaii on this date and gets Hawaii, King Kamehameha V, to file bankruptcy. Under damages, no damage is complained so this is the 22nd of October, 1872, plus 45-day trust law and three-day grace period is the 6th of December, 1872. Guess what happens on that date? King Kamehameha V, the last reigning monarch of the Hawaiian Islands, is assassinated by poison and dies. The Hawaiian... Masons, because he is a 34-degree Mason, being that he is the reigning king and monarch, puts, activates the 20-year moratorium that if you are dead or off the land, because he's responsible for all the land in Hawaii. Add 45 days to December 6th, and you get, plus the three-day rescissions act, and you get the 17th of January, 1873 plus 20 years is 1893. January 17, 1893, the United States military shows up 
The commander of the warship is a postmaster, ordering the postmaster of Hawaiian Islands to take over the Iolani Palace and capture the Hawaiian Islands, putting the Hawaiian Islands into United States territory. Queen Iolani then writes a cursive letter, an adverb verb, to complain. But as the Queen of Hawaii in 1893, she's also a 30-40 degree Mason, uh, Eastern star. And when you join the Masons or Eastern star, you surrender your king, queen, presidential, or director's position and are now work for the Masons as a...